start at their 26-yard line. Down by three. Here's Siobhan Walker taking the toss and not turning the corner. Tyron Brockenridge there to pop him out of bounds. Well, and the Rough Riders have turned over this entire linebacking core this season. Brackenridge taking over at the Sam linebacker spot has been very effective there. He played a couple games at DB late last season. Of course, Abraham Chroma replacing the big shoes of Jarrell Freeman at the Will spot. He too has been very effective. Leading tackler on this defense and the Canadian Shamari Williams, former number one pick at, in the middle. So it's second and nine. Burrow steps up, looks downfield. He's got Andrea Jones wide open and can't make the connection. A missed opportunity for the Tie Cats as Jones was wide open deep. Well, as the scramble started here, looked a little bit as Andrea Jones lines up as number three. Slows down a little bit on the route. Jack Sanders fielding the Bartell punt and good downfield cover by the Tiger Cats. And Ryan Hines has another special teams tackle. We'll take a look back at the previous play. Andrea Jones, deep downfield, slowed down a little bit as Henry Burris got Holding. caught up. Saskatchewan number 45, 10-yard penalty, first down. Had he just continued full speed down the field, he would have been able to get to that one, might have scored. Mike McCullough called on that kick return, so the Rough Riders will be backed up inside their 20-yard line. So the deepest start for the Rough Riders so far in this first half. Harrison Dressler in motion. And a handout shoots straight ahead with the first. And a first down to the 32-yard line. Again, Jamal Johnson on the tackle. Let's check back in with Lee. Hey, thanks a lot, Chris. Well, Corey Sheets with a good run there. He has gained a lot of fans in Saskatchewan. In fact, Darian Durant mentioned that they haven't seen anyone come to Saskatchewan after three or four games and get the love he's getting from the fans. But what he's chasing is what he called the unicorn, the 100 yards rushing in a game, something a rider running back has not done in 37 regular season games. West Cape was the last one in early 2010. Guys, that's July 17, 2010. Hard to believe it's been that long. Durant. Gets lap, gets lap a catch, and he should have a first down. These the first two first downs for the Rough Riders since the opening drive, and the tackle made by the new Sam linebacker, Carlos Thomas. And Chris Getzlap has Corey Sheets to thank for this. Sheets is going to come hard up the middle. The effectiveness that he's shown so far this season in the run game causes Jermaine McElveen to crash down hard to the inside. Worried about stopping Sheets. That allows Durant to pull the ball and get outside, make this throw to Chris Getzlap. Gets left fifth in the Canadian Football League in receiving coming into this week with 303 yards prior to this game. He didn't get over 300 yards last year till week eight. A lot of time for Durant. This one's got in tight cat territory at the 43 yard line. Well, week one, he killed them on the short ball. Everything caught within 10 yards of the line of scrimmage here. Weston Dressler's running that deep dig route. Darian Durant spots him. Perfect throw just in front of the new safety, Craig Ray. Dressler, one of many Rough Riders who wanted to take the blame for last week with a drop in the late stages of that game that would have had Saskatchewan in field goal range to win it in regulation time. Pressure on, Durant again, thrust from the pocket. And on the sideline, Dressler does a little tap dance. And does he make the catch? Yes, they're going to rule it. A, a catch for Dressler, another first down. That's four in a row on the drive. Well, Weston Dressler had to use every inch of his five foot eight frame to stretch out and get this ball while keeping the toes down. Terrific job. Look at that left foot.
What a catch. Oh, on the sidelines. So the fifth play of the drive. Now inside the Ticat 30, and Durant doesn't like what he sees. Oh, Chris, you, Saskatchewan. you talked earlier about some new receivers being in that Saskatchewan lineup this week. And Darian Durant didn't like what he saw once those guys motioned and lined up. Clearly some assignment issues there. Corey Sheets waving to the sidelines. But nobody coming in. And Durant not going to the bench to confer either. So will they just regroup with the same play, or does he have a different play call from the bench? Uh, I think it was more an alignment issue than not liking what he saw from the defense, so I think they can go with the same. Got time to take a shot. Into the end zone. Gets lap, couldn't make the over-the-shoulder catch. Well, much talk early in the season about throwing these corner routes. Chris Getzlaff just had trouble tracking that ball and adjusting to it as it came in. Little, ends up tailing a little bit to the inside on him, and he just didn't get it all the way around. Bo Smith in coverage with some help from the safety Craig Ray in his first start. Gets left 11 of his catches have been for second down conversion, second best in the league. Second down here, Durant trying to get out of there, and he is brought down back at the 40-yard line. And it's Brandon Boudreaux, who yesterday George Cortez mentioned has a bright future ahead of him if he can stay on side. Yeah, Boudreaux has been a rotation guy so far for the Ticats. Playing that DN spot, number 91, working against Pat Newfeld. Stays alive on that play. You saw the inside arm rip through. Decent job in protection by Newfeld, but Boudreaux just kept the motor running. No surprise to see Greg Peach, former Edmonton Eskimo, also in on that tackle. The loss forces a long field goal attempt. It'll be a 47-yarder. Chris Milo. Makes good contact and nails it. Milo from long range, 10 4 Saskatchewan. Chris Milo has hit from 50 th this year, but a lot of faith to let him kick away on a 47 yarder here with Chris Williams back. Yeah, absolutely. Chris Milo has had some rough spots this season, 8 of 12 through the first four weeks. But we've seen in the early part of this season, teams are adjusting what they consider to be their kicker's safe range based on what the returners have done. We know Chris Williams has been arguably the most dangerous guy on those missed field goals so far. Looked like Milo silenced some critics over at the Hamilton <laughs> bench with that 47-yard boot. Well, they were doing anything in their power to put that one in the hands of Chris Williams, hoping they could throw the kicker off his game. Jadarian Walker back on the kickoff. And Sam Jadarian's got it from his 15. Better return. And he gets out beyond the 40. Well, if you don't make it, this is what could happen. And if it happens again, Chris Williams will make the end zone. He won't backpedal in. Well, he sure will. A, a terrific return. Great effort by the entire field goal return team here. Just unfortunately painted by an early celebration from Chris Williams at the end. But to the credit of Chris Williams, you gotta like the way that he responded to it. And I thought one of the best parts of that was him going and apologizing to Montreal coach Mark Tresman immediately after the game for disrespecting his team. First down for Burris and company. Dumps it off, a crosser for Chris Williams. And the speedster into Rough Rider territory. It's a first down inside the 50-yard line. You know, over a quarter million hits on YouTube <laughs> for that play became the talk of the week. Uh, and Chris Williams is hoping that his play can simply become the talk of the week this time around. Would have been his fourth kick return touchdown of the season. 
Nobody's had more than five in a single year. 17 on that catch by Williams at a first down. Javon Walker, left side, has some room. Jamari Williams will bring him down, but it's another first down run for the Hamilton Ticats to the 40-yard line. Well, the Saskatchewan Rough Riders were the first team in the Canadian Football League to find out up close and personal about the speed of Siobhan Walker. Of course, had the long touchdown run in week one. Going to mark it back at the 41, Dwayne, so it will be second in a yard and a half or so. Brent Hawkins is back. The contact issue has been resolved, and the Hawk back on the prowl. But a bootleg by Burris, and now the throw complete. And Kelly's got it. And a first down for the Ticats is Kelly, who had 27 catches last year, 380 yards, two touchdowns, makes a first down grab as he replaces the injured Bakari Grant. Well, and helping him out on that play was Andy Fantuz. He ends up coming in in protection here. Matches up on the defensive end on the right edge. That's Brent Hawkins. Andy Fantuz is being asked to block. Personal protector for Henry Burris on the play. Craig Ellis checks back in for Tate George on the rough rider defense. First down, Walker left side, and he is tripped up just inside the 30-yard line. Tackle made by Abraham Kroma, who had seven against the Ticats in the opener, and is sixth in the league in tackles. Yeah, impressive newcomer, as we mentioned earlier, a guy who's got very big shoes to fill, Jarrell Freeman was certainly the Rough Riders' top defender a year ago. So the Ticats try to extend the drive, second and long. Burris, flush, takes off, and lunges down to the 20-yard line, and Henry Burris has another first down for Hamilton. He was a running machine in the preseason with over 100 yards in a pair of abbreviated appearances. You're gonna see here the Saskatchewan Rough Riders match only three, rush only three, and this is why Henry Burris is gonna to have to run. You've got nine guys in coverage, flooding everything. They're taking away all the receivers. With everything dropped off, Burris takes advantage of it, gets on his horse to pick up the first down. And the Ticats hit the red zone, sixth play of the drive. And a completion to Siobhan Walker. Taken out by Chroma near another first down. Siobhan Walker thus far in the season, Chris, has been a big part of the Ticat passing game as well. He came into this game third on the team with 15 receptions, over 200 yards. The 89-yard touchdown run in the season opener. Second and one as the Ticats are on the prowl looking for their fourth consecutive first down of the drive. And a double tight end. They fake to Walker. Burris keeps. And he's got the first down at the six at a late flag. Holding, Hamilton number 55. 10-yard penalty, repeat, second down. That's the right guard and former Stampeder Tim O'Neill. And this is the greatest challenge of playing offensive line. I talked to BC Lions offensive line coach Dan Durazio, who pointed out really the only position in the world of sports where you play with your back to the football, or with your back to the ball, or back to the action. And the only time you get any attention is when the flag flies. That's it. So second and 11. Burris looks to the end zone, and it's not down. Big defensive play there. The intended target was on Rhea Jones. And I believe it was Chris McKenzie with the knockdown. 
Henry Burris put it on the mark. This was the only place he could throw it. But great job. The right hand of Chris McKenzie getting across to deflect that football. We're told he's playing a little bit nicked. His fourth knockdown of the year for the four-year man at defensive halfback for the Rough Riders. And here's Kanji from 27 up. Trying to cut this lead in half and choose the holder. And Kanji nails it. 10-7, the Rough Riders lead. Well, just under four minutes left here at Mosaic. Quick start for both teams. Things have settled in. Darren Durant was five for seven on the opening drive for 52 yards. Four for eight since for 56. And one interception. Corey Sheets with a cutback and lunging to the 39-yard line. Tackle made by the Ohio State product, Robert Rose. Rose did a nice job in the middle of that Tiger Cat defense fighting off the block of the center. Dominic Picard getting some penetration upfield in the process. That front four was under some duress after the opening two or three games, but George Cortez really liked the pressure from the front four with Greg Peach back in the lineup last week against the Alouettes. Second and six, here comes that pressure, and Greg Peach can't make it down at the rim. Stretched out to get the first down. Ball popped loose as he hit the ground, but Darian Durant's second effort will move the chains. Yeah, this is just a quarterback leading by example. Take another look at it when we come back. The three-minute warning here at Mosaic. Uh, Greg Peach had a shot, made a good read on this play initially, and had a terrific shot to take down the rider quarterback, Darian Durant. Peach number 90 in the middle of your screen. Comes back under because he knows Durant's going to take off upfield, but he goes too high on that tackle, maybe looking for a strip on the football. Durant shakes it off, lunges for that first down yardage. Harris, the former Ticap property in motion. Durant looking the other way. Might take off here and does. Ray Williams tracking it with Durant. Beats him to the sidelines, close to a first down at midfield. Well, Durant joining in right along with Henry Burris. Providing a running threat. Talked last week about the point guard mentality. And as the coach has said, when you've got the lane, drive it. <laughs> well, Durant has done it well. Just came up short of the first down, so Drew Willie and the short yardage team comes on. I wonder if they ever give Willie a green light to take a shot. Sheets, first down. Down to the 51 yard line where Ray Williams and D. Webb meet up with him. Ray Williams, who had that interception last week that I thought was headed to the end zone, <laughs> got reminded that maybe that ankle problem that he's had isn't 100% yet. Oh, I know. You took a little bit of heat from the fans as you were... Uh, you the were, jinx. Yeah, you were a little bit premature <laughs> for claiming the touchdown. Ray wanted you to know that he apologizes for not getting there for you. Made a heck of a play, that's for sure. And it really set the tone last week. There's Durant. He's got an open man. Gets left out. Got in behind Bo Smith. And Chris Getzlaff sets the Rough Riders up first down at the 25. Uh, there's no question that Weston Dressler is the go-to guy in the Saskatchewan Rough Riders offense, but I truly believe Chris Getzlaff is the big play guy for the green and white. He turns in yet another one here, catching the deep ball from Darian Durant. 